Hi, in this video I will mention the Al Anam Surah. Um, so, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Praise be to God who created the heavens and the earth and made the darkness and the light. Yet those who disbelieve in their Lord continue to deviate. So here, this <clears throat> I think this the first sentence is unique in terms of this start heaven and earth. So here, uh, this is like a uh, there's a metaphor like hidden meaning or it's not hidden actually so heaven is something that we cannot see and the earth we can see darkness we cannot see and the light something we can see so that's why it is beautiful so it means so so now maybe you cannot see heaven but it, it doesn't mean there is no heaven yet those who disbelieve in their Lord continue to deviate he is the one who created you from mud, then de predetermined your lifespan. A lifespan that is known only to him, yet you continue to doubt. So it also so here it is also related to the first verse. It's about our existence. He is the one God in the heavens and the earth. He knows your secrets and your declarations, and he knows everything you earn. No matter what kind of proof comes to them from their Lord. They turn away from it in, in aversion. Since they rejected the truth, when it came to them, they have incurred the consequences of their heedlessness. So, says this, they rejected the truth. When it came to them, they have, uh, they are unhappy to, and then they will be unhappy for sure. So this is also another uh, interesting verse. Verse and um, have they not seen how many generations before them we have un annihilated? It's true. Uh, we established them on earth more than we did for you, and we showered them with blessings generously, and we provided them with flowing streams. We then un annihilated them because of their sins, and we substituted another generation in their place. So it is a test place. Um, so maybe some so, some uh, so societies stayed more and longer and they were maybe relatively happier and they feel maybe more pleasure even if we sent down that to them a physical book written on paper and they touched it with their hands those who disbelieved would have said this is no more than clever magic so this the seventh verse is actually confirming the first verse and darkness and the light and something that we sent them to them in a physical book written on paper they touched it with their hands so they really honestly say that they can say that it's a hallucination I cannot believe it so and people in Quran they ask for miracles they also said if only an angel could could come down with him had we sent an angel the whole matter would have been terminated and they would no longer be respited. So it means if the miracle you is is bigger, so is more uh, obvious, then our examination will change. So God uh, judge judge us according to the new uh, miracles because other people may don't they they may not exper experience similar magnitude things so that's why it's interesting so it's part of the examinations examination had we sent an angel we would have sent them in the form of a man so it it is another thing it says that God actually designed it on purpose God didn't design it they do it on like just randomly and we would have kept them just as confused as they are confused now have sent him in the form of a man messengers before you have been ridiculed it's those who mock them who suffer the consequences of their ridiculing. Rome, the earth, and not the consequences for the rejectors. To whom belongs everything in the heavens and the earth? Say to God, He has decreed that mercy in His attribute. He will surely summon all of you on the day of resurrection, which is inevitable. The ones who lose their souls are those who will disbelieve. To him belongs everything and that dwells in the night and the day. 
is the hearer and the knower. Shall I accept other than God as a Lord and Master, when He is the initiator of the heavens and the earth, and He feeds but is not fed? And say I am commanded to be the most devoted submitter and to not be an idol worshipper. Say I fear if I disobey my Lord the retribution of an of an awesome day. Whoever is spared on that day has attained his mercy, and this is the greatest triumph. Uh, if God touches you with adversity, none can relieve it except He, and if He touches you with a blessing, He is omnipotent. So he can give you good things as, as much as God can. He is supreme over his creatures. He is the most wise, the cognizant. Say, whose testimony is the greatest? Say, God's. He is the witness between me and you that this Quran has been inspired to me to preach it to you and whomever it reaches. Indeed, you bear witness that there are other gods beside God. Say, I do not testify as you do. There is only one God, and I disown your um, belief, and that those to whom we have given the scripture recognize this as they recognize their own children. <coughs> the ones who lose their souls are those who do not believe. So, people know our own children. I think this is sort of about knowing yourself, so finding yourself in Quran. And finding messages to you specifically uh, targeting you so and the translation may slightly change you can read other version of this uh, verse and and I want to uh, stop uh, talking about it and thanks for watching this video